just take a moment, relax, settle in. No need for any thoughts. Just become present. Fill your heart with gratitude as you relax. Recognize the fortune in your life, the great, great fortune that you have. Think about peace. Congratulate yourself for taking a moment to join in. And now let the day go. Everything you did today just fades away. With my eyes open, I'm fully present. I'm recharging my body. I'm recharging my soul. I am accumulating while I am completely at peace. Om Shanti. Repeat those words, Om Shanti. One more time, Om. Shanti, completely at peace. I was thinking about what brings me peace and what pulls me away from peace. And when I think about the list, if I'm honest, very few things bring me peace or so I think. And yet I can create a very large list of all the things that I say take me away from peace or robs me of my peace. I even received an interesting text yesterday. I was somehow on a group text. No phone numbers that I recognized. And the message was that we had forgotten God, which I would agree with. But then the message went on to say that we have worshipped sports so God has taken sports away. We have worshiped everything but God and we haven't been back to church. And then there were some passages from the Bible speaking about how God had destroyed in the past. And I thought that is the God that I used to know. When I was a little boy, I had this vision of God and I guess I should preface this by saying I wasn't always the best little boy, mischievous a little bit. But I had this vision of God growing up Christian that he was always watching me. God had his eyes on me. That's what I was told. And then there was this thing dangling called hell. Fiery pits, everything, it was bad. And so how could I connect with God, the mother, the father, when I had this vision, when I hear things like I saw in this text yesterday about the destructive God, the punishing God. But I was good then so that I wouldn't be punished because of hell and the afterlife and all those scary, scary things. And then about 20 years ago, I came to the Brahma Kumaris and they told me very simply that God, God is outside of karma. And I had to think about that, that God never takes on karma. He only gives messages. And then what we do with those messages is up to us. God is an instrument, the most powerful instrument, the highest form. And thinking about that energy it made sense if this highest energy was looking at me with those eyes i would be shifted downward and yet the only thing god the mother the father the supreme soul does is send us light and love and uplift us 
And then I took on a vegetarian diet because they said God is supremely, supremely nonviolent. That wasn't the God that I knew, but I like this concept. God is supremely nonviolent. He doesn't condone violence. And I thought about what I was doing with animals. I had the excuse that I wasn't killing the animals. And then I remembered about energy, that God is a soul, just like I am. And a soul is filled with energy. And I thought about you are what you eat. And what do the animals go through during death? What type of violence, what type of fear? And so this isn't to tell you to become vegetarian, but just my understanding of God became very clear, supremely non-violent, and the ultimate form of love. And so as all these things are going on in the world today, all these distractions, all these things that are robbing me of peace, I was reminded to think intently about the mother and father, the supreme soul God. God says, take refuge with me. And sometimes I can't even get away from my own thoughts. And so tonight's commentary is really about plugging back in with God, but remembering or understanding the true meaning of God benevolent. And so I would like to encourage you to think about your relationship with God, your thoughts of who God is or what God looks like. And then as I walk around, it became clear that God actually isn't in everything, the pebbles and stones and nature. That was another fallacy that I had. Right, God is one, one point of light. And so as I relax and I meditate and I get quiet and I reestablish my connection, I can link with the Supreme. And so let's do that right now. Think about the space where you're sitting or maybe even driving. Just think about this space and then see yourself in the town that you're in. Hollywood, Florida, Austin, Texas, and just rise up a little bit. See from the sky your little town, and then allow yourself to float and to rise higher until you go from that town to the shape of your state and to planet Earth. And as I pass everything physical, the sun, the moon, the stars and the skies, as I pass this finical, as I pass this physical place, this is where I find that God resides past all that is physical. It's very silent there. And I, the soul, the tiny infinitesimal point of light, link with the Supreme Soul. And it is from the Supreme Soul that I am allowed to take. Most of my life I've been taking from others, needing this or needing that, taking in different forms, including judgment. But when I sit with God, I take the highest potential. I take all the jewels. And it's fascinating as I become quiet maybe not really knowing God or understanding who God is, as I become quiet and as I plug in, my connection is there. And what has always astounded me is that thing called truth. Truth is usually based on perception. And when I get really, really quiet and I link with God, truth is revealed to me. And now truth is something that I don't have to speak per se. And especially I don't have to prove truth. It's that powerful. When I used to try to prove things, I think I was convincing myself. And so sitting before God, 
There's nothing to prove that I can finally let go. I can finally discover peace. The nice thing about peace is that it's my foundation to happiness. So as I settle into peace, I don't necessarily have to laugh, but happiness does fill me, fills my soul. And then from head to toe, I have the combination of peace and happiness. And what could be wrong then? What could possibly bother me at that point? I know it's absolutely nothing. And with peace and love, especially sitting in front of God. Sorry, I said with peace and love. It's with peace and happiness. That's when and where I discover love. I'm not sure I knew what love was until I linked with the Supreme. Love in this world and this physical world was also based on need. And my love was not altruistic in any form. And so again, sitting with God, I experienced love in its purest, ultimate form. And as I fill with that love, I begin to just settle back down coming back into the universe, seeing the moon, other planets and stars, floating through the atmosphere, seeing my state, coming back into this physical world. But now I know, even though this was quick, that I've been settled. And so my connection with God is incredibly important. And sometimes when I meditate, the honest thing is I'm not sure what I'm doing. And so for the next seven days, I don't want to do anything except tune out my thoughts, go high above to Paramdham as a soul and connect with God and fill with love Fill with love for the next seven days every time I meditate and each time I feel myself in this physical world I am reminded that I am the embodiment of love and again what could bother me now as the embodiment of love I the soul walking in this physical world and in my body, what do I give off? Again, being energy. What am I giving off to others as the embodiment of love and as that child of God, the supremely, the supremely nonviolent father? What is my day today like? What will it be like over the next seven days as I remind myself, I am the embodiment of love, love in its purest form. I am unaffected by my surroundings and I give in this way. I see myself going forward as light. I see myself as light, light and love. And now there will be test papers that is expected. And sometimes I just push the test paper aside because I am love, nothing affects me. I say, okay, I'll get to that when I'm ready, but I will not be pulled. And this is what love, when linked through God, allows me to do. And so now let's just sit in silence for a quick few moments, feeling completely at ease, knowing that everything is working for me. I settle down. I connect with the 
healing vibration of love. Shanti, I am love and I am peace. Have a beautiful week. Until next Thursday, share God's love and rem remember you are a child of God.